Welcome to a second video taking a look at drawing a frequency polygon. Uh, so here we're being asked to draw a frequency polygon to show the information contained in this table. So again all that we're doing is we're taking the midpoint and plotting that in line with the frequency. So we've got 0 to 4 first. So 0 to 4 has a frequency of 11. So that is just there. Be careful here, notice that the scale goes from 10 to 15 and 10 to 15 is um, being represented by 10 little squares that means that each of those little squares is only worth 0 0.5 and so to say where 11 would be that's 10 there you'd have to go up two squares up to 11 two squares up to 12 two squares to 13 2 squares to 14 then 2 squares to 15. Be careful with that on your exam. So we've plotted the first point <coughs> then we go to the next one so 4 to 8 we take the midpoint so we go halfway in between and that goes up to 16. The next one 8 to 12 halfway in between and then we're going to go all the way up this time to 29 which is just which is just there. Then next one, 12 to 16, again take the midpoint and go to 26. So 26, which is just there. And then lastly, 16 to 20 on 20. And then all that we is left now to do is to connect these points with a ruler and that is our frequency poly polygon done. Just a quick point, remember even though it says frequency polygon, even though it says this word we don't need to make a polygon out of this shape so do not connect the first and the last points it has to be just a straight line connecting each of the midpoints of the class interval.